Mike D'Angelo from Princeton University. His opponent from Cal Poly is Colt Shorts. Colt Shorts from Cal Poly versus Mike D'Angelo from Princeton. D'Angelo scores a takedown, takes a two to nothing lead. Mike D'Angelo is a sophomore from Princeton University. His record this season was 16 and 9. Third place out of the IWA from Comac, New York, Comac High School. Mike D'Angelo from Princeton University. His opponent, Colt Schwartz, is a senior at Cal Poly. His record was 20 and 12 this season. He took second place in the Pac 12. He's from Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, Cannon McMillan, Colt Shorts. So D'Angelo from Princeton and Shorts from Cal Poly. Shorts hits a try to hit a head wheel, came neutral, cuts the lead to two to one. So D'Angelo leads four and one as he scores a takedown right now. Shorts has tough hips. Tries to head, tries to hit a head wheel and hip across. So Mike D'Angelo from Princeton leads four to one on the strength of two first period takedowns and he has a minute and nine seconds riding time over a tough Colt Shorts from Cal Poly out of Cannon McMillan in Western Pennsylvania. California Polytechnical Institute, Cal Poly, Princeton University, Princeton, New Jersey, out of the Ivy League, wrestling out of the EIWA Conference, Princeton University. We're coming down to a minute remaining. D'Angelo has a ton of riding time. A minute left, he's got a minute 26 in the first period. D'Angelo is a cradle lock. He's going to try to bump the hips over. He's trying a little too fast, and he loses it. Colt Shorts is going to come up. Mike D'Angelo is lucky he didn't give up more with that cradle. Tried to force it a little too fast. A little bit of reckless maneuver on Mike D'Angelo's part. He's got the cradle lock again. He needs to bump him off his hip. If he rocks him back too fast, Colt Shorts is going to roll out of this position. D'Angelo's still in control. He gave the reversal. Now D'Angelo comes back. D'Angelo leads six to three, short time remaining in the period. D'Angelo had two takedowns and a reversal in the first period. He's got two minutes and 16 seconds riding time. And Colt Shorts, Colt Shorts is no slouch. He's a tough kid. Second period, D'Angelo starts down. He stands right off the whistle, comes to his feet, tries to peel hands. Colt Shorts throws in a grapevine and kicks out the post leg. He's a pretty big 57-pounder, Colt Shorts. Shorts riding with a half Nelson. Trying to get a position to turn Mike D'Angelo, Princeton. Shorts riding tough on top. Latched onto his own instep. Mike D'Angelo's got to beat him on the whistle. He can't let that leg come in. Because Shorts is tough riding with legs.
D'Angelo stands again, Schwartz throws in the leg, he kicks out the post leg, cries across and knocks him off his base. We've got less than a minute in the second period. Short trying to kill D'Angelo's riding team. Shorts has latched onto the right leg of Mike D'Angelo. That's all that's preventing him from giving up control here. D'Angelo tries and tries everything. He's got a half in. I think he's going to get a reversal here. It looks like it should be two. That's a reversal. D'Angelo leads eight to three, starting to build his routing time again at 45 seconds and climbing. Time is out before he got to the fifth count. John Nath was in a count for stalling when Mike D'Angelo dropped down on the leg. We're going to the third period. Choice goes to Cal Poly. Colt Shorts is going to take down. Chooses the bottom position. Mike D'Angelo leading 8-3 as we go to the third period. Riding time not yet a factor, but if he rides it for eight seconds, he will have a minute. One minute riding time right now. D'Angelo riding with a two-on-one on, on the arm. D'Angelo needs to keep his hips higher. His, his hips are coming down and Colt Shorts is gaining mechanical advantage. Shorts is going to try to bust his hips across D'Angelo's zone again. He's going to try to knock him off his base. D'Angelo is still in control. Schwartz is locked onto the leg. He's going to try to reach and take the head and cradle him. Schwartz trying hard to work on that head. He pulls him over, gains a reversal, cuts the lead to eight to five. There's a minute to wrestle. A lot of time left in this battle. D'Angelo has hand control. He peels hands. Turn out. He got a bounds and restart in the center. D'Angelo will be on the bottom. 52 seconds left in the period. In the third period. Shorts comes on top. John Nath blows the whistle. Action starts. 50, 5 -0, 50 seconds. Shorts move on top as the reach across and pry the leg out. He picks up the hips and bangs him down on the mat. D'Angelo hanging on to an 8-5 to five lead. Shorts needs to put him on his back here in the last 30 seconds. Shorts rides with a tight waist. D'Angelo spreads out on bottom. Tries to maintain his base. Tries to peel hands. D'Angelo is a cradle lock, but he doesn't have control. He's going to knock him onto his far hip. Now he loses the cradle. Short time, 10 seconds left in the bout. We're going to restart in the center. Mike D'Angelo leads 9-5 to five with six ticks left on the clock. He's got 54 seconds riding time, so riding time will not be a factor. Shorts takes a shot right on the whistle. D'Angelo backs away. Mike D'Angelo is going to hold on to win here, 9-5. Our winner on bout number 298, mat number 3 from Princeton University, Mike D'Angelo is our winner. You're watching the NCAA Wrestling Championship.